In the middle of previous summer, I had a desire to assemble a mining farm from a wonderful GPUs. We used RX 580 of course on 8GB, but the implementation of this idea remained just as a desire because for a long time because for a long time I was tormented by doubts about the duration of the hype around mining. And since such doubts exist, it's better not to go into it at all. Lord, how wrong was I? If I would buy fried radiance, then they would pay for three times. But you can travel back in time. As you know, in demand for mining prices on GPUs go up. And not only on that which can mine, but also on every card ever existed. Old, oxidized, GPUs of which lost their relevance in prehistoric era. Because if gamers can't afford new gamers' GPUs, they will try to find the best options in terms of price performance ratio among the GPUs of old generations. And the card they discover thanks to unexpected demand will also begin to grow in price, and so on until it affects all the cards. And the high price will remain until the demand for mining falls. Then, so many GPUs will appear on the secondary market that the lithospheric plates diverge until they await, which will lead to irreversible consequences on our Earth. Yes, millions of years ago, such an incident already happened on our planet, and it's the miners who are to blame for the fact that we live on the different continents, have different languages, different religions, mentality, and so on. But here, out of nowhere, I jump out like a black clock, but not just like that, but in order to talk about alternative ways to use the GPU in addition to games and mining. But to be honest, if I were a happy owner of a huge number of video cards bought on credit, then I would definitely wonder where can I, in addition to games and mining, use them. There is nothing to hide. I would tear my ass, but I would find a use for a bunch of overpriced text to light just not to sell it for cheap on the secondary market. But since I'm not such a successful businessman, today we'll talk about neural networks, or to be more accurate, about the programs that uses the power of artificial intelligence to perform some useful function. There are lots of browser AIs, but I will only show those that are programs for PC and are able to work with Nvidia and AMD video cards. Personally, I will be using my old 4GB RTX 580, yes, this isn't the GPU that miners usually buy, for them it's already outdated. Copper tubes are slowly covered with oxide, mega hashes flow from all cracks. During its working life, it had a little rest, and during its working life, it was never serviced. I bought it from Crazy Miner, and when I checked it at the post office, all employees and visitors could taste the smell of juicy mega hashes produced by this card. For another month, it stank of a hash rate. But unfortunately, the smell is gone. But the taste remained. Once, when I was recording another very useful video about Radeon R9 290X, during one of the acrobatic elements, both video cards unsuccessfully landed on concrete. I was lucky at the time, and both of GPUs are still alive. But I was scared as hell, consequences of the fall you can see on your screens. The radiators were damaged. Radeon R9 290X fell on side plate where the connectors are situated, and uh, seems like I have departed from the topic. What's with alternative use of video cards? I'll start perhaps with the most extremely thing. I can't name this thing directly because of YouTube, but there are organizations that specialize in guessing passwords, if you understood what I'm talking about. This is usually done on sites where there are no password guessing restrictions. They do this usually for money, but sometimes for personal reasons. Most often they use GPU and uh, this also can be done on CPUs, but GPUs are much better due to the ability to operate on a huge number of, of processes at the same time. For guessing, they use so-called dictionaries, which they took from password base or made by themselves. For extremely fast guessing, they use GPU clusters. Does it remind you something? I really recommend you to try this, of course, if you like prison cells. Ok, let's move to AI programs. And the first program only works with NVIDIA GPUs, and it's called DayNap. Its purpose is to increase the number of frames in a the video. There are some examples of how 60 frames are obtained from 24 frames. You can even make 240 frames from the video which has only 24. 
It makes sense if you want to make slow motion, but test practice shows that on some videos you can clearly see artifacts. Another app allows you to change other people's faces, I think everyone knows about it, it's called Deep Face Lab. There are lots of clones of it on phones, but it's all trash. Only with this app you can make really quality video. There are channels dedicated to such fakes, here is one for example, Sylvester Stallone in Home Alone. To be honest, I freaked out when I saw this. But to create such fakes, a powerful GPU will not be enough. It still need to select the original video in the same color, in the same quality, and so on. It needs a lot of work. Coming to the two programs from one company. They are not free, but as a respectable citizen I bought both of them. I will even show you how to use one of them. This program allows you to increase the image quality many times over. You can make a picture in 16K from a picture in Full HD. The main thing is to have a lot of video memory and a good graphics chip. The program is terribly simple, we just throw an image into it, then choose how many times we want to enlarge the image and press the button to save it. Here is the result of what has been done. Pictures add a lot of weight. I think there are some changes in these shots. The picture on the left is 8K and the picture on the right is 16K. If you look closely, you can see the picture on the right looks denser. Then I decided to break a system. Just look at the results I have. And what is it? Apparently the neural network decided that this is someone's face? Or is there something demonic hiding in this picture? But I went further. I cut out this image and enlarged it over and over again, till I found this. Ok, last picture was my stupid joke, but the face really appeared, because satans wanted so. Oh, I mean neural network. Ok, due to my experience there is no sense in scaling your image more than in 4 times. Files wait more, but the difference isn't clearly seen. What about Topaz video encoder? To be honest, it isn't that good as Gigapixel. And yes, you can scale videos with Topaz Gigapixel by converting your video to images and then upscaling them. By the way, the processor Lord Shadow will imitate the work of Cardiograph and the GPU will show you trading on the cryptocurrency exchange and then converting them to a video. I advise you to choose the best codec with the highest bitrate for the video quality be better. These were all the ways to use GPU that I found on the net worthy of your attention. Yes, you can do a lot more on graphics card, for example, train neural networks and then rent them out. But presenting such information in an interesting way will be extremely difficult, maybe even impossible. Perhaps you know where the miners put their GPUs after the merge of Ethereum? Write in the comments. And of course, subscribe on my channel, like this video if it was interesting for you. Bye.